So TradeMapper only recognises two-letter country codes, which is fine if your data already has this, like with CITES or ETIS, but sometimes you have data and it doesn't come in that format. So the one we're looking at at the moment is Customs Data from Comtrade. You can see that the country information either comes as a numerical code, has a full country name, or a three-letter code, and TradeMapper isn't going to recognise any of these. So we just need to do a little bit of data cleansing before we can import it. So what we're going to do is use a function in Excel called VLOOKUP. This is a really, really useful function because it searches for a value in one table, then matches that same value in a second table, and any information stored in the same row as that value in the second table. It's probably much easier just to show you. Um, so Comtrade actually provides this spreadsheet on the website that you can download and you can see that it has these numerical codes, full country names and the three letter code but it also has the two letter code which TradeMapper will be able to recognise so we need to somehow be able to make our customs data have these two letter codes. So if we go back to our customs data so this is export data of mahogany from several countries so you could actually ma use any of these three columns containing country information as a match but I think we'll use a reporter code and this needs to be the first column in your table just insert it and also needs to be in order of smallest to largest or if you're using one of the um, country names or the three letter code from A to Z so we've got that as the first column we just need to insert a new column where we're going to do the VLOOKUP we do that just by typing in equals VLOOKUP bracket and we're telling Excel we want it to find this value in cell A2 in this table and we're interested in the information in column 6 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 these two letter codes and we're only interested in an exact match, we don't want an approximate match so for exact we just type false close bracket and enter and you can see it has pulled in the code G2 GT rather which matches with Guatemala so if we just pull that all the way down we'll fill that in and just a quick review to check it's worked fine NI, Nicaragua, yes PE, Peru, yep, US, USA, that's matched nicely. So we'll just give this column a heading, so reporter uh, two letter code, copy and paste values so that the actual equation is gone and we've just got the values and then we're free to move this around as much as we need to because then when, now we've got the exporter country code in, we're going to need to do the same with the importer. So that's just a case of doing exactly the same thing. Take the code, partner code, make that the first column. Insert to make sure that's in alphabetical order, or smallest to largest in this case. And we'll do the VLOOKUP again. V look. And again, we're telling it look up this cell A2 in this table and we're interested in column 6 and only an exact match and there we go and that's just a case of dragging it down to fill them all in okay again copy paste the values give it a name um, Save it and then that's ready to be imported straight into TradeMapper.